This video is intended to help you install and set up an Infoblox VNIS reporting appliance to an existing Infoblox grid. The first step in this process is to add a new grid member to your existing grid. So go to Grid, Grid Manager, Members, and click on the New Member button. You will be presented with an Add New Member wizard. Make sure you set the member type to be Virtual NIAS. Now assign a fully qualified domain name, then assign the IP address, subnet mask, and the gateway for your new reporting appliance, and save the new member configuration. We are installing the Infoblox VNIOS TR800 reporting appliance on a VMware server. When you downloaded your VNIOS TR800 appliance, you should have downloaded three files, an OVF file and two VMDKs. You should place them in the same folder and select the OVF file to install the VNIOS appliance. After the virtual appliance has been imported, you'll need to power on the virtual appliance and open up a console to complete the setup process. To log into your VNIS appliance, the login name is admin and the default password is infoblox, all lowercase. The first thing we need to do is set a temporary 60-day evaluation license. We'll be applying three license keys for this setup. The first will be a license for VNIS appliance itself, and then we're going to select a grid license and finally the reporting license. During this process, the appliance will restart, so you may have to log in again to complete this setup. Now run Set Network to configure the IP address you assigned to the new member in your grid. You will also tell the appliance to join the existing grid. Please provide the IP address of your grid master, as well as the name of your grid and the secret password for your grid. By default, the grid is named Infoblox and the secret password is Test. The new appliance will now join your grid. Log back into the NIAS GUI and configure reporting by opening the grid reporting properties and select the report categories you want your new reporting member to track. You can monitor DNS resource records in zones last query by selecting the DNS option and then selecting which zones you would like your reporting server to track the last query date for both zones and zone resource records. You can choose both forward and reverse zones. For more detailed information, please consult the admin guide. Now that we've configured which data you want the reporting member to collect, the next step is to start the reporting service on the reporting member as well as every other member of the grid that you want to collect reporting data from. Your reporting server is now on the grid and collecting data. So go to the reporting tab to view the searches and reports that are available to you now. You can also find the last query date by opening the zones you selected to be tracked by the reporting member. Additional information on how to use reporting member can be found in the admin guide. Thank you.